It's Dick! <laughs> April 7th. And guess what? It's Dick! <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, well, the big news today um, coming from Snyder is, uh, yes, he uh, pretty much, I guess, I guess 100% confirmed that the Robin costume that we saw in Batman vs. Superman was originally supposed to be Dick Grayson. And um, this is not new, not exactly, because, you know, a while back when Snyder posted about uh, something on Vero and he said, what, what makes you think that he was talking about Jason? That's when everybody was like, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? That Snyder gone crazy? So then I was like, oh, cool. This is a good chance for me to make this video back then, which was titled, Is the Robin Suit and Batman vs. Man Jason Todd's? Because what I heard from the source that I've been telling you guys about is he told me that, no, at first it was Dick Grayson. And now it's 100% confirmed. And of course, we can always, and I even talked about the tombstone and everything like that. Um, but of course, you know, um, I think some people thought I was Looney Tunes or whatnot. Who knows? Because how dare Snyder would actually, you know, change up the the source material a little bit. But you guys got to realize that he was trying to make just like a contained story, a five part story that was mainly about Superman and just had a little bit of Batman. So he wasn't I mean, as much as they were planning on expanding the universe, which a lot of people said, like, no, he wasn't planning on expanding the universe. Yes, they were. But he wanted to have his own little little contained story. And I've seen a lot of people today going, I love Zack Snyder, but this is bullshit. And I'm just kind of going, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. I mean, when he, when I, when I made this video then, I was just kind of like, all right, well, that's what he wanted to do. That's, that's fine. I mean, this was before Chris McKay wanted to do a Nightwing story. Did they plan on doing a Nightwing story? No. And we don't even know if the Nightwing fucking movie is going to happen because we haven't had a, an official word from Warner Brothers. We've just been he hearing from Chris McKay. And now Chris McKay is no longer on Twitter, which kind of scratches your head and makes you rub your chin. Don't get pissed off at Snyder. He was just doing something different. He wanted to make a story a contained five-part story that was mainly about superman but had everybody else involved you know it's just the way it is um obviously what happened was and i think i even mentioned it in that video was at first at first it was dick grayson and i and apparently this is all in lieu of um people have been digging up the vfx reels from various companies which has been awesome you know i was like yes you know various people they were trying like, hey, look what's been happening with the these VFX. We've been finding little little shavings here and there of Justice League, and now people are, are looking at Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad. And apparently, there's a shot in Suicide Squad with uh, Batman and Harley, and he says, uh, you know, the Joker took something important away from me. I'm gonna take something away from him. And of course, he's obviously talking about his little buddy, and that was Dick. It's not that big of a deal, you know, they changed it at the very end because, you know, obviously right before Batman or Superman happened, um, Warner Brothers just came out and said, no, it's Jason Todd, Jason Todd, because yeah, originally it was supposed to be Dick Grayson. That tombstone is real. That tombstone was real, I should say. It was filmed, but they took it out of it. They, they were like, nope, nope, let's stick to the story. So I guess if you want to like talk about, yeah, yeah, I guess Warner Brothers deserves a little win for that one because a lot of people are like no it's got to be jason it's got to be jason but you know like i said it was, he just wanted to make this self-contained story and apparently too people kept on asking of vero and they're like well is he gonna stay dead and snyder basically said yeah and then there was gonna be a carrie kelly robin which that would have been interesting unique and different you know, to have that carry. I mean, obviously, Batman vs. Superman took very highly from The Dark Knight Returns, so why the fuck not? Nothing to freak out about, folks. I know it's nothing. It's really nothing because, obviously, they changed it. They, they you know, they changed it back. It's not going to go that direction. Obviously, it's... I mean, honestly, I would, I would take a dead Dick Grayson for that five-part Snyder goddamn Superman story. Maybe that's just me. Let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. What do you think about all this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com. And, of course, uh, visit uh, the Film Junkie closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys?